my mouth and or nose may bleed profusely. Is that legit? While watching a good cooking show can give us plenty of ideas on tasty new dishes to create, sometimes those shows lack a bit of much-needed excitement. Luckily, a food show came along that not only showed us great food, but cranked up the excitement level to maximum. Here are our top 10 untold truths of man versus food. Bring it on. Can't shut me up. Can't tame this. The Audition. How'd the auditions go? Amazing! While Man vs. Food is a food show, one of the main things about it is the challenges. A man, Adam Richman, or later Casey Webb, tried to eat some of the biggest and hottest food dishes in the country. Because the challenge part of the show is so important, you may well think that when Man vs. Food are looking for a host for the show, they look for someone who can handle a lot of food. What I said was, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Or at the very least, have someone with a bit of experience with competitive food eating. However, according to the first host, Adam Richman, this is not the case. The producers are actually more interested in a host that has a good camera presence and can talk about food. The audition for the gig didn't have any eating challenges, nor did they test their auditionees on how much they could eat or how far they were willing to go with food. This surprises us, as the overeating element to man versus food is such a big and important part that surely the producers should have tested this out with their future hosts. Luckily, both Adam Richman and Casey Webb proved themselves to be more than a match for those giant plates of food. You couldn't beat me then, and you can't beat me now. A challenge too far. For the first time in Man vs. Food history, this hot challenge has me really afraid. Over the course of the show, Man vs. Food has had some truly monumental challenges. Whether it's sandwiches that could feed an entire family, or steaks the size of a cow, the Man vs. Food challenges have become the stuff of legend, as one man strives to eat as much as possible. However, there have been a few challenges in which the hosts have struggled to complete and even failed altogether. It must be said that it's not always the size of the food that is too much, it is quite often the heat and spice that gets the better of the hosts. One of the seemingly smallest challenges to happen on the show came from Sarasota, Florida. Dubbed Fire in the Hole, uh, they're fire in your whole wings. The challenge was to eat 10 chicken wings in 20 minutes. That in itself sounds pretty easy and straightforward, but the wings were coated in a mouth scalding concoction of extremely hot ingredients. But the thing most people don't know about this challenge is that Adam was sabotaged by this restaurant. Wanting to prove that their challenge was going to be too much for Adam, they used way more spice than usual. They were mic'd up for the show, and when they were adding the ghost chili extract, they were heard saying, just add the whole bottle, just blow him out. This made the challenge impossible and actually dangerous for Adam. Had this been a fair challenge, it would have probably been a win for Adam instead of a loss. The contest, I cheated! Why? Because I'm a cheater! Making food challenges popular. Johnny here tells me you ate 48 White Castle burgers all in one city. Man vs. Food brought the idea of the food challenge right into our homes. Each week, we got to see a man tackle the greatest food challenges out there. While the show made such feats popular, they in no way invented them. Eating competitions have been a staple of U.S. culture for generations. Whether it's hot dog eating contests, devouring the biggest steak, or eating the most pizza in the shortest time. Whatever the food or challenge is, the country is full of competitive eaters. While these kinds of contests have been going on for years, there is no escaping the fact that Man vs. Food made them a lot more popular. Rather than most people just watching or hearing about these types of competitions, Man vs. Food suddenly made people think, I could do that. With plenty of websites out there that devote themselves to competitive eating, they can't deny the explosion and increase in competitions and participants since the show started. Since Man vs. Food has become a worldwide hit, many countries have been joining in on the fun and getting into the spirit of competitive eating. See? Anyone can do it. The new host. Don't replace me! You're being replaced. In 2012, the popular food show was pulled off the air and looked set to be finished forever. However, in 2017, the Travel Channel decided to bring this fan favorite back into our lives. The show would follow the same format, but with one big difference. No Adam Richman. The internet went crazy, as many people couldn't see the show working without Richman, and they even started a petition to get Richman back. However, Richman wasn't interested in coming back and was, in fact, working on another 
Travel Channel show, so the show had to find some new blood. In came Jersey-born Casey Webb to take charge of the new era of the show. Don't worry, he's a professional! Casey himself has some pretty good food credentials, as he has been working in the food industry since he was 15 years old, and has worked in pretty much all aspects of the industry. That's some pretty impressive food history. While Webb seemed to have all the credentials needed to front the new man versus food, fans were still not happy and planned to boycott the show when it came back on. Luckily, when the show came back, Webb managed to win fans over and led the show into new territory. He had some pretty big shoes to fill, but many people think he filled them quite nicely and may even surpass his predecessor with time. We certainly look forward to the show's new direction and host, giving us more man versus food in a whole new way. We will watch your career with great interest. By doctor's orders. I know going to the doctor can be scary. But doctors are your friends. Once Man vs. Food started to go into production and the premise of the show was mapped out in all its eating glory, doctors were actually consulted to make sure the hosts would be safe. As the show puts its hosts through so much, consultants were brought in to check the health and well-being of the hosts before they started out on their food adventures. Because of the nature of the show and how much food they will eat during the course of a season, it's critical that the producers make sure their hosts have a good baseline health before they put on the inevitable weight gain from eating all that food. Man, you're heavy. Yeah, I put on a little weight recently. Also, throughout his time on the show, Adam Richman actually skipped meals leading up to a challenge and would go the whole day without eating in order to increase his eating capacity. There is a lot that goes into making Man vs. Food more than just eating some great tasting grub. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Why the show really ended. Oh, that's it, I quit. I quit, find a new host. When Man vs. Food first hit our screens in 2008, it became a huge ratings winner for the Travel Channel network. While we all love to watch Adam Richman working his way through the country, eating everything that came across his path, the show was unexpectedly pulled off the air in 2012. The moment the show stopped, fans went into a frenzy, and speculation and rumors ran wild as to what actually happened. You are hiding something. Many people thought that original host Adam Richman was forced into retirement due to bad health and years of overeating. There were also other rumors that Richman fell out with the production staff on the show, and there was also a rumor circulating that Richman's mental health was at stake. However, according to Richman himself, the reason the show ended was quite a simple one. The decision was all his. The simple fact is that Richman just thought that after four years, the show had run its course, and he had done everything he could have done with the format. While this reason may not be as exciting as many of the rumors, it actually makes sense for a host to leave a show before it becomes boring or drops in ratings and the show just fades away. It's always better to go out on top, and that's exactly what Adam Richman did. Being the best at something is a very rare thing. Not everyone is a fan. I don't hate it, I just don't like it at all and it's terrible. Man vs. Food was always an amazing show to watch. Everyone loved to watch a man take on some of the biggest and best food the country had to offer. Well, maybe not everyone. During those early years of the show, Man vs. Food had some pretty harsh critics. Food critics and experts piled on the hate for this show as they saw it as unnaturally gluttonous and overindulgent. Jesus, you're such a food snob. While food and our view of eating has shifted to a more refined and healthier approach over the years, many people in the food business felt that Man vs. Food encouraged people to eat too much and slide back into the unhealthy side of dining. One of the biggest critics of the show was the late and very popular chef Anthony Bourdain. While he also agreed with the over-gluttonous aspect of the show, he also couldn't work out why people watched it. The show didn't teach you anything about food, is what he thought. The only reason he could come up with for Man vs. Food's popularity was that the audience watched, hoping that the host would eat too much in one challenge and die. Oh, that's brutal. I like it. It must be said that then-host Adam Richman jumped to his show's defense on several occasions, as he thought that the show highlighted regional food that a lot of people wouldn't be aware of if it wasn't for Man vs. Food. Don't ask that question. I refuse to answer any questions without my lawyer present. Man vs. Food was a true game-changing TV show. Not only did it show viewers great food, as well as giving us a look at some hidden regional restaurant gems, the show also gave us a look at some seriously big food 
cute portions. We enjoy seeing the hosts battle against the mountains of food put in front of them and see if they are up to the challenge, while also getting to see just what effects a lot of food has on the human body. It's pretty gross. The amount of food that gets eaten over the course of a season is staggering. But just how do our hosts cope with all that greasy food? Well, they are actually happy to tell you. In many interviews, they have been open and honest about their weight and any health problems they might have due to the show. However, there is one question that will not be answered, and it is a strict no-no. And that's any questions about the bathroom. I am so freaking tired of people asking me that, and it is none of your business. It seems to happen quite a lot, as the audience is weirdly interested in the amount of food, and if that causes frequent trips to the bathroom. But the hosts aren't very forthcoming with this information, and don't see the answer as relevant to anyone. This we'll have to agree with, as none of us want to picture that side of the show. We'd rather all just sit back and enjoy the hosts tackling the biggest and best food around. It's as fun to make as it looks. <laughs> We have fun here. We all love nothing better than to get lost in our favorite TV show. Whether we like to binge watch the latest drama or get lost in a fantasy world, we truly are living in a golden age of entertainment. While we may enjoy watching a certain show, do we actually know what goes into making it? When it comes to big budget shows, we have no doubt that there are many complicated and expensive aspects that go into making it. But what about something like Man vs. Food? It seems simple to make, doesn't it? Well, according to the production, production staff, as well as the restaurant staff of the locations they film at, it's actually a very long day. A typical filming session can last up to 12 hours. You must be exhausted. Fancy a nap? with the actual challenge part of the show only taking up to three hours of the shoot. That may sound like a long and grueling day, but according to sources, the shoot flies by as everyone involved is there to have fun, and the star is always the food. It's nice to know that the fun that comes across on screen is genuine, and everyone is there to enjoy the grub, as well as to see the hosts battle those infamous challenges. Listen, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna need some moral support. Oh, That's perfect. <laughs> We're experts Man vs. Food, The Return. You thought I was dead, didn't you? No! I did. There is no denying that Man vs. Food became a pop culture phenomenon as we tuned in each week to see host Adam Richman wrestle with a burger twice the size of his head. However, when the show got cancelled, we were all left with a food-shaped hole in our hearts. This is truly the saddest day of my life. But a few years later, that hole was filled as Man vs. Food smashed its way back into our lives in 2017. While there were many people out there that were not happy with the fact that Man vs. Food will be getting a new host, as we have already mentioned on our list, a lot of people were pleased to see this show back. And the new version of Man vs. Food is now into its fourth season, with Webb as the host. Eight seasons overall. And the future is looking very bright for everyone's favorite food-eating TV show. While we all miss Richmond, it's nice to know that the show is in good hands, and we look forward to seeing more food adventures in the future. Oh, I can't wait! Find more food adventures right here and tap that screen. Checking us out for the first time? Then take a second to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.